Okay, let's talk about LED strip lighting and uh, cinematography. Uh, this is my setup right now for uh, taking YouTube videos. If you look at my channel, they're all sort of desktop type videos. And uh, I've got a new set of arrangement uh, which uses these LED strips that uh, came from Lee Valley. Uh, the distinguishing part about these is they're top quality vendors, so I have good confidence in the safety and the reliability of them. Uh, and more importantly, uh, there's a fairly high density of LEDs, 120 per uh, meter, uh, which seems to be the highest density I can get. And as you can see, it gives a very nice, bright, and even lighting uh, to the scene. Okay, essentially it's a three-point lighting system, uh, but it's modified for desktop photography. I wanted a really f uh, even light throughout the uh, work surface. There's a light on the left, a la light on the right, and then there's the strip that's mounted to the the shelf providing the backlight. Okay, uh, close up to the strip here. Uh, the uh, golden points are basically points where you can cut the array. You can see it's sort of a regular pattern. There's three LEDs and one 150 ohm resistor uh, in each segment. Uh, the 150 ohms, of course, is, is a dropping resistor that you can just simply feed this thing at 12 volts. And uh... So the strategy is really simple. Uh, just some aluminum tubing, three quarter inch uh, from the hardware store, very easy to cut and uh, very easy to fashion into the right shape. And then a, a nice flat white uh, matte surface and that basically gives a, a very uh, consistent light across this desk which is basically very flat lighting but uh, very appropriate for the type of videos that I'm shooting. I've tried it both ways, uh, both without a fabric and with a fabric curtain. This is just a, a, like a polyester and uh, it, when you turn the light on you can uh, get a nice diffusion. Uh, keeps the very bright hot spores of the light away. Um, I've also tried it just shooting it raw without the uh, the diffuser and uh, both actually seem to be fairly good. You can actually fairly easily avoid this this hot spot. You can see there's now a wide shooting surface in this desk uh, which essentially is nice neutral and flat and that gives a, a really good uh, surface for taking photography. So one of the nice advantages, of course, is the LED strips, they just take 12 volts. Uh, I'm using, obviously, a lot of power supply because this is an engineering uh, a blog. And uh, I can even control the intensity very precisely by uh, doing that. Uh, however, if uh, that's uh, not uh, of interest, you can uh, obviously always um, use a uh, wall work like this and uh, power the strips up quite nicely as well. No, the end of the shelf is uh, really nice. The uh, Lee Valley sells this lovely extrusion that has a wonderful diffuser on it, so it gives you a nice angle. And the uh, light's blocked here, so if you're sitting down at this desk, uh, you don't get blinded. And then I just mounted the uh, AC to DC uh, inverter into this uh, crude wooden box, which is then just uh, attached to the shelf nice and permanently and uh, provided a switch for it. So another way you can get a real big win with LED lighting is a uh, highlight. Uh, obviously, uh, just a shorter piece of uh, extrusion with a shorter array on it and uh, I often do obviously a lot of macro photography and I sometimes need to side light something very brightly uh, to pick up highlights and I'll often I'll have the camera lens extremely close like a circuit board like this so I can actually show the part numbers on the board and uh, again just showing the nice versatility of a, a strip light and uh, sort of the neat things you can do with it. So quite frankly a, a short video but uh, I was really impressed with this strip and uh, this was working pretty good, actually. It was uh, just a short afternoon's worth of work, and I think I've got myself now a much more solid lighting system that uh, I can use in these uh, videos.